Shutter speed, horror show. It's funny because when I go out shooting late to get you know long exposure shots, I tend to forget to uh, put my settings back. And it leads to very Peter Jackson-esque moments. First thing in the morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday. Today, I'm gonna to be going to the Petite Center with a couple of friends. My buddy Jason, who you met a few days ago, who you might have met even longer ago, who has a YouTube tutorial channel, which you should definitely check out, uh, has never been to the Petite Center. And my other buddy, Saul, and I were talking about doing this. Anyways, it's something we've been wanting to do together for a while, so we figured why not just combine forces and all head down there together. So, we're gonna grab waffles to start because uh, Jason's craving some waffles before he moves out of the city, which is gonna be a sad day when that comes. Uh, so we're gonna go grab some waffles, so I don't think he's ever been there, and then head down to the Petite Central either by bike or by metro, and uh, we're gonna go wander around where the trains used to be. And if you are wondering what the heck is the Petite Central, uh, it's worth it. You'll, you'll find out here in a second. Right now, I need coffee and a waffle, and uh, then I'll be really rip ready, roaring to go. Rawr. <laughs> Day you see people in chef's hats and tuxedos protesting. It's kind of amazing. I guess event restaurateurs are out protesting. I'm guessing that they're uh, not happy with the aid they're getting from the government. Uh, that's a cool look. If only every protest was as snazzy as that. Dang. I feel super underdressed for the protests that I've attended now. I could have been wearing a suit. <sighs> I'm a failure. <laughs> While we're distracted by protesters in suits, I might as well take this opportunity. Hey, I'm over here, camera. I might as well take this opportunity to thank my patron producer of the day, Marnie Wilson. Thank you so much, Marnie. I appreciate that you're here. Thanks to all my patrons for sending us off to the Petite Centre today. It's uh, it's gonna be a wild ride. Not so easy to find on your own. So I'm looking forward to finding something new. Let's go. <laughs> How quiet this thing is. How what? How quiet it is. Oh yeah. You don't, hear <laughs> you don't know, not at all. It's kind of scary. Uh, but, you get used to it. Yeah, in a good way. No, but I like all of a sudden you were there. I was like, hey, <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> I'm just gonna film Saul running his, his bike <laughs> off before the bus kills him. <laughs> Zoo! There it goes silently. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah. Just like the bus is electric, they're both way too quiet. Yeah, no, I'm not criticizing, I love that they're quiet. I'm just saying it's a little bit spooky sometimes. Yeah, I'm, here you go. You can criticize if you wanted to film with this a little bit. There you you know, unfortunately, like in Vegas, when all these cars came out, yeah. a lot of people got hit. I'm sure. Oh, it's recording right now. Yep. Okay. We're all taking photos of each other. It's great, it's the best. We're talking camera gear. Leave a comment below if you'd like me to do a, a, a gear video because I've been avoiding it like crazy, but maybe people would be interested. I don't know. Photo times. All right, Boone and I are going by bike. You've seen Saul's super cool electric scooter. That's how those two are headed south. So uh, we're gonna get the uh, scenic slower exercise route and uh, you know sweat a little bit before we go into the cold, cold tunnels under Paris. How you doing back there, Boone? I've never, I've never, ridden never ridden a bike in Paris before? No. I'm glad, I'm glad I could be a part of that. Ah! The other thing that I saved you from is this seat is jabbing like up into my pelvis, so. It's either a mildly uncomfortable seat or working way too hard against a short seat.
Why have you never done this before? So you, you're a fan. Last week and a half year, my first bike ride. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad we could finally make it happen. Long overdue. Occasionally cars don't pay attention. <laughs> I think I've converted the Jason Boone to biking through Paris. This is his first time. I don't know if the audio caught that earlier because he's a little ways behind me, but uh, he's been living here for almost three years. This is his first time biking through the city. Don't be like Boone on this one thing. Otherwise, be exactly like Boone, that's fine. But don't be like Boone when it comes to biking in Paris. If you live here or you're visiting, I don't know if there's a better way to get around. Oh, wheel, but aside from that, because I could at least block the wind with both hands if I was on my wheel. And that is, that is ideal. Womp womp. You see the little triangle above the light there? Yeah. So that means that if, if it's safe, we can turn right on red. Sometimes you'll see the arrow pointing straight up. That means you can go through on red. Oh, okay. And for anyone watching at home, I've said this before, but if you want to drive in France or anywhere in Europe, you can't turn right on red. I don't think ever. So forget that. If you're an American, that, that tip is for you. Don't, and don't forget it. You'll get a ticket. <laughs> the only ticket I've ever gotten is for running a red light uh, ever in my life. And it was here in Paris and it was on a bike. So it, it can happen and it can happen to you. Tiny, tiny screen. Isn't it? It's kind of hard to work with, but... How was your first bike ride through Paris? I think my legs are... Could be better. <laughs> no, it's fun. It was a good experience. Maybe, uh... Can you carry me? The rest I will of carry you, yeah, yeah. There they are. Jason was understandably hungry after biking all the way here and I mean, I couldn't say no. It's the first kebab I've had in a long time. So we just stopped for a kebab, found these guys. We're about to jump in. If you want to go to Point Con, so we're just north of Porto Leon and we're going to go down. I'll show you the entrance. This is the same spot that I've live streamed from before. And then we'll see what the secrets are that Saul has to offer as we get in there. This area is still like open for everybody. Yep. And this used to be uh, the train station. And now it's a restaurant, I think, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. We because I've walked that way before. Yeah, yeah, but it was open. I'm happy to go the other way this time. I've done that part, yeah. But it wasn't, there wasn't a, a gate here. The post cheeseburger climb. How was that cheeseburger, Jason? You got it. Nice, attaboy. Oh, there's the music. <laughs> So I've been down here before. I came down with my buddy Oliver to do a live stream a long time ago, and uh, this was not blocked off then. So I've walked this whole stretch once before, and it's a long, long tunnel, which we found out all too late and uh, almost lost our live stream as we were walking through it. So we're gonna go for a walk, get some cool photos here, and uh, give you a sense of what the Petite Ceinture is. It's, it, it is a park. So I think they open this gate at different times. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, maybe don't do this at home. I don't know if I should even show us jumping over that gate. But yeah, we're just gonna take advantage and take a stroll, take some photos. There are multiple places you can get into this all around the city. This is just one of them. That's a good one.
tunnel is serious. It's like a 15 minute walk and it's not a joke. It's pretty crazy. You don't think it's going to be. And then it is. This is also uh, where a lot of people, there are a couple spots. I don't know where they are. And you might know this from the time that Oliver and I walked it, but there are a couple of locations where you actually get into the catacombs, like the underground city that's beneath Paris. So this is a spot a lot of people go for sure. If you don't feel like hopping a fence, you can go the other way. There's no fence there. And uh, if you're lucky, that fence will be open like it was for us. And you can come uh, check out where people had a fire the other night, apparently. Oh yeah. They find a lot of bay leaves every time they dredge the canal too. Would you give us a, your lighting assessment for the location? <laughs> Since you're on scouting mode? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I just think probably, you know, what would this place look like right at sunrise or sunset? Probably not nearly as cool as, unless you have a nice pink sky. As long as you got that high dynamic range game, go for it. Do you have any tutorials on high dynamic range? No, I've just started getting into color grading. I just got a camera that can actually handle it. Oh, yeah? That has like 15 stops of dynamic range, so. Have you put any out yet? No, 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 no. I've just been shooting with the camera, but I haven't yeah. put out any tutorials for, for color grading. I said tutorial, I'll watch. Hint, hint. <laughs> Subscribe. But yeah. That's a good look. Just punch him in the head for me real quick. Just, oh, you missed your chance. <laughs> I'm, here for the, I'm here for the drama. <laughs> you can see Saul in action here. Just walk through a little poison ivy here. <laughs> Look at you guys in your bulls outfits. Just such a cool location. I love this area. And I'm gonna get Boone, I'm gonna get you a new profile picture here. That's my goal. Right. I'm working on my behind the scenes shots too. It's fun too, because I was taking shots of Pouchon and I want to do more of shots of him working with food. But it's it's a lot of fun to work with somebody who's working with a model too, but it makes you feel like you're definitely gonna get in the way. So it's just like, can I ruin this shot really quick? Mm -hmm. Cool, thanks. So what's the, what's the brand of this helmet that you're uh, actively advertising right now? Rurok. Rurok. Is that the same as your hat? Oh yeah. Nice. That was a good spin there. I like that. <laughs> you should be the model. <laughs> Very appreciate it. Boone had the stabilized. How, how do you feel about the experience now that you've used it? I, I, my eyes are so bad, I don't know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Something that'll be usable, Is this I'm sure. The camera, I can't tell. This, yeah, and then other. Oh, well, that's good too, actually. Damn it, Jay. Let's see. Damn it, Jay. You ruined my shot. Like, if I come back up close to you guys. That's cute. Um, and act, yeah. You like that? You don't tell me if it's. Oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's get a close up of his face. Is it? Sh <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. You're really cool. Look, I love that. Yeah, I like that a lot. You're good. You don't? Yeah. Oh, there. That's it. That's it. It's also fun to have multiple cameras. So this is one of the things. I think we were talking about this at breakfast. Time. One of the things I'm going to try and do is hand the camera to friends as we go. These two may or may not know how to use cameras. It's kind of fun, like to you know. 
get a couple of get get some outside influence in the process. And it's also fun to be a photographer for a minute. That was great. Temperature change here is unbelievable. Right. It's like way warmer as soon as you walk yeah, out. It's super chilly in there. A philosophy. A Not a bad philosophy. <laughs> Today was, this is great. I had no idea that we were walking into a photo shoot today when we came down here. I'm really happy that we did. It was fantastic. Rita, thanks for letting us shoot you Pleasure. this whole time. That was great. Again, if you want to come down here, highly recommended. Just uh, make sure, whoa, camera. Make sure you bring a flashlight, I think is the uh, the key element to uh, walking through this place. Your cell phones will work, but um, if you really want to explore a little bit, there's some offshoots under here that are kind of creepy. So definitely take advantage of that. We're going to hop out and grab a beer here. Yeah, it's just been a nice chill day, which is exactly what I needed. And uh, then also it's going to be really cold and dark under here. So uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> Great. Well, we had a nice little beer to kind of cool down. Unfortunately, it's way hotter out here. And Boone and I get to ride bikes all the way back in the center of town, which I'm not going to film because it's going to be miserable. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's been kind of a scattered day, but it was nice again, like I said, to just chill, take some photos, wander. I definitely want to do more photography, and so it was a fun opportunity just to play around with that a little bit. So uh, thanks to Rita for coming and joining us. You were a delightful surprise, of course. And then obviously, Saul. Links to all these people below, and I will see you bright and early again tomorrow morning for more of this nonsense. It's gonna be great. How hot's your seat? It's a real question. Yeah, I give, it a, I give it a seven out of 10. Eight Ooh. out of 10. Ah, it's gonna be a fun ride. Here we go.